The 2017 film version of Stephen King's It made its mark as one of the biggest critical and commercial hits of the year. But it wasn't the first time the Horror Masters classic 1986 story made its way to the screen. The book's original adaptation, a 1990 TV miniseries, lacked a movie-sized budget and modern special effects, but it still managed to give audiences plenty of scares. The TV version of It had a strong cast going for it, including budding young stars and formidable character actors portraying the adults. With the exception of Jonathan Brandis and John Ritter, who have passed away since the movie's release, most of its original cast is still busy with strong Hollywood careers. Here's a look back at the original ensemble and what they've been up to in the 27 years since Pennywise last reared his head. Richard Thomas TV fans might best remember Richard Thomas for his Emmy-winning turn as John Boy in The Waltons, but for horror fans, Richard Thomas will always be remembered as a grown-up version of Bill Denbro, taking over the role of the loser's leader from Jonathan Brandis. After it, Thomas continued his prolific acting career with more films like Wonder Boys and a TV series such as The Americans. Thomas also maintains a steady career on the stage, recently earning a Tony Award nomination for his role in the 2017 Broadway revival of The Little Foxes. Brandon Crane In the 1990 miniseries, Brandon Crane played the young version of Ben Hamscom, who was frequently bullied by Henry Bowers and his gang because of his weight. Around the same time, Crane also had a recurring role on the classic drama comedy series The Wonder Years as Kevin's close friend Doug Porter. Following his appearance in It, Crane continued to appear on the small screen and in short films, and these days he makes his living as a stage actor, singer, and front-end website developer. During the summer of 2017, Crane reunited with some of the other Derry actors to film the upcoming documentary Pennywise The Story of It. Emily Perkins Canadian actress Emily Perkins portrayed the young version of Beverly Marsh in the miniseries, and it was one of her first major roles. But something about her stint as a scream queen in It seemed to stick, because she would later continue to star in scary projects like The X-Files and Ginger Snaps. Nowadays, she's taking a break from the small screen as she enjoys her newest role as mom. Annette O'Toole Before she became the adult Beverly Marsh in It, Annette O'Toole appeared as Clark Kent's love interest Lana Lang in Superman 3. And after defeating the Derry Demon, O'Toole returned to the Smallville fold by starring as Superman's mother on the small screen. After that was done, however, she came back to the realm of Stephen King for a brief stint on the small screen adaptation of 11-22-63. Seth Green Long before he became a household name, Seth Green was the foul-mouthed, wise-cracking Richie Tozier in the It miniseries. He later rose to fame with roles in the Austin Powers film franchise, his long-running role as Oz on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and the dozens of other films and TV shows he's been a part of. Nowadays, his steadiest work seems to happen behind a microphone. He provides voices for Family Guy, Robot Chicken, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and even made it into the Marvel Universe as the voice of Howard the Duck in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Harry Anderson For adult Richie, actor-comedian Harry Anderson stepped into the role. Beep, beep, Richie! I didn't hear that. Anderson is likely better known for his long-running role as Judge Harry Stone in the NBC sitcom Night Court, but he's also popped up in popular series like Cheers and Hearts of Fire. But much like Richie, he's always had comedy at heart, and these days he can be seen performing stand-up routines and magic shows around the country. Adam Farazel 12-year-old Eddie Kasbrack was the most timid member of the Losers Club, frequently jumping at his own shadow or complaining of ailments like asthma that his mother convinced him he suffered from. Playing Eddie in the 1990 miniseries was Adam Farazel, who didn't stick with acting for long after it premiered on television. He made a handful of appearances in TV movies like Where the Red Fern Grows, but ultimately he found a professional passion in the restaurant business, where he specializes in bar beverages. Dennis Christopher Playing the adult version of Eddie Kasbrack in the IT miniseries was Dennis Christopher, who first rose to prominence in Hollywood with his starring role as Dave in the 1979 film Breaking Away. Christopher went on to appear in many more films and television shows over the years, including Roswell and Star Trek Enterprise. He also appeared in Quentin Tarantino's Django Unchained, and recently starred in several episodes of the epic's comedy series Graves. Marlon Taylor Playing young Mike Hanlon was actor Marlon Taylor, who also appeared in a handful of other television roles as a child, including Sister Sister. After 1994, Taylor took a hiatus from acting, but reappeared in 2009 when he co-starred in the rap drama Know Thy Enemy. Information about what he's been up to since then is scarce, but according to Taylor's Twitter account, he recently finished filming a part for an episode in Season 4 of Sci-Fi's post-apocalyptic TV series Z Nation. Tim Reed 
Tim Reed played out the rest of Mike Hanlon's tale for viewers, as he discovers that it has returned 27 years after their last encounter. Like his younger counterpart Marlon Taylor, Tim Reed also appeared on the sitcom Sister Sister, and continued to act in a number of films and television shows, including That 70s Show and Treme. Most recently, Reed made a couple of appearances as Bishop Lionel Jeffries in the Oprah Winfrey Network drama series Greenleaf. Ben Heller being an actor isn't for everyone, and it certainly seems that was the case for Ben Heller, who played the 12-year-old version of Stanley Uris in 1990. Stan is the most logical and skeptical of the Losers Club members, and Heller handled the role just fine. However, his appearance as Stan was his first and last acting role. Fans will get to finally find out what he's been up to in his post-Derry days, when he appears on the 2018 documentary about the miniseries production. Richard Mazur Stan was the one who initiated the blood oath between the Losers Club members when they were children, but when he learns he'll have to make good on that promise, his fear of facing the ancient evil again leads him to take his own life. Sorry, I'm late. Richard Mazur is probably better known for his work in shows like Rhoda and films like The Thing. Today, he's still a regular on the small screen, having recently starred in The Good Wife and Orange is the New Black. Tim Curry Renowned actor Tim Curry did much of the heavy lifting in the 1990 IT miniseries with his role as Pennywise the Dancing Clown. While there has been considerable buzz surrounding Bill Skarsgård's modern take on the character in the 2017 film adaptation, it still doesn't displace Curry's cheeky performance as a fan favorite from the first adaptation. Following IT, Curry continued his extremely prolific acting career with dozens of roles in films and television shows. And even after suffering a stroke in 2012 which left him wheelchair-bound, Curry refused to slow down, taking a voice role in Star Wars The Clone Wars and returning to the Rocky Horror Picture Show realm as a criminologist in the Fox TV remake. And he's still ready to bust out Pennywise whenever the need arises. And say, down here, float. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.